Hi friends and welcome again to see a new episode in V12 engine theory. I will continue working on the cylinder block step by step and if you have any question don't hesitate to post it in comment. Uh, here I will activate the cylinder block, the component of the cylinder block and start working. As you can see, the last feature we did is this. You can make a free orbit to rotate your model as you can see you can select this um, surface sketch and starting making a rectangle you can press uh, R in your keyboard to have a rectangle and make some dimensions look for uh, this point okay and add some dimensions i get the dimension in parentheses because the edge is uh, coincident and i can't add another dimension so i will remove it i will add i will remove the constraint now i can move the edge then i will add dimension between <coughs> two of these edges well when you finish sketching make an extruded cut by pressing q in keyboard and add this dimension Rotate your model like this and I will make the same thing as uh, I did uh, now in this side. Take a rectangle, make uh, just like a rectangle like this. And so it's time to add dimensions. Make sure to have coincidence between this and all of these edges or points from here to these edges we have 32 and here we have 20 rotate your, your model like this and add extruded cut we can press Q again mm -hmm. Okay. Go to create pattern rectangular pattern. In the tip choose features and choose the two of these features. You can use control if you can't select it select direction here and distance tip make spacing take the arrow and just to see the distance the true distance is 90 put here uh, 7 all thing is all right rotate your model to see if you take all things then press OK. In the next episode, the you next will see episode, this. I hope you will be in, in time to see this. Thanks for watching. If you like to receive more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you find this tutorial helpful, please make a thumbs up. Cheers.